Welcome back, YouTube viewers, to the 2009 Cleveland Browns Bash. I'm your host, AJ, here with the Week 7 edition of the show. And it was another disappointing game against the Pittsburgh Steelers for our Cleveland Browns as we lost 27-14. to I said the Steelers would uh, it'd be a moral victory for the Browns if we lost by less than 14. That was my spread. And, well, we uh, beat that by one point, so I lost my pick on the spread with that one, but I got the overall pick as the Steelers did win by 13. Um... Not that I was happy about that, but, um, you know, the Browns scored more than I thought we would. Uh, well, I guess touchdown-wise, anyway. Um, there was Josh Cribbs' 98-yard uh, kickoff return for a touchdown. Um, I just love Josh Cribbs so much. Um, and then there was a uh, Derek Anderson to Lawrence Vickers touchdown. So uh, that was where all our scoring came from. But the Steelers, just 500 yards, over 500 yards of total offense. Uh, the last time they did that was in 2006, also against us. Uh, when they beat us 27-7. to So uh, just complete domination, really, by the Steelers, even though they only won by 13. Um, so uh, we now trail that series 55-60, to and uh, we've lost 12 straight games against Pittsburgh, so just 12 games ago we were leading the series by seven games. Um, very disappointing. Um, so that's the game against the Steelers, and uh, we're now 1-5. and five. Heading into week seven, we travel back home to face the Green Bay Packers. Uh, last time we played Green Bay four years ago, we did win by two, 26-24, and we trailed the overall series against the Packers 7-10. to But uh, something going into this game, we have 12 players with flu-like symptom symptoms right now, including five starters, and that's just uh, uh, crazy. Um, I don't know if that would make a difference, honestly, in my, in my pick. Uh, because we're still just an awful team, and the Packers are a team that, um, they're a decent team. They've taken advantage of some bad teams this season, like St. Louis and Detroit, and, and with, with a couple of their wins, but they almost beat the Bengals, who have been really good this season, except against us and against the Texans last week. And um, they almost won in Minnesota, and uh, they also beat the Bears, who haven't been bad. So um, I'm going to pick Green Bay by 10, and I think it could be worse than that. Um, but I think since we're at home, and I mean, you know, Green Bay hasn't been amazing this season. They've had some, you know, uh, you know, like I said, they'll almost win at Minnesota, stuff like that, though, that just makes me think that we, I don't give us much of a shot to win, but I am going to pick it as close as 10 points. So um, that's my spread, and hopefully we win. Uh, one and five is just, you know, it's so disappointing to just start the season off and just immediately suck this bad. Um, even though we're almost halfway through the season, it just feels like the season just started, I guess. You know, when you try to forget the bad times, you don't remember the losses, so it seems like the season goes really fast when you're 1-5. and five. But, um, you know, I just hope we get a win. I, I just hope we compete, you know, because even against Cincinnati when we almost won, it still just felt good. So we'll see what happens this weekend, but like I said, Green Bay by 10 right now is my pick, and uh, hopefully I'm wrong. Thanks for watching, YouTube viewers. I'm your host, AJ, with the 2009 Cleveland Browns Bash. This is week seven. Go Browns. Let's get a win.